Hey, I'm Hillary Hendershot, and if you hate budgets, I'm here with you today with the Minimalist's Guide to Mastering Your Money. I really hate budgets. Have I mentioned I hate budgets? That said, I also hate having things undone in my life because I'm distracted and I feel guilty and it weighs on me and I really can't be present in the moment and focus. I'm kind of addicted to being financially healthy. I also know that if you don't tame the money beast, the money beast will tame you. So I'm a big fan of simple and elegant solutions that make my money my loyal friend. First, request e-statements whenever you can. Useless paperwork that piles up on your desk is the worst kind of psychic leech. You can download the statements if you want, but mostly all you really need are the annual statements and tax-related items. So just let it all live on the interwebs. I recommend you pay your bills immediately. Unpaid bills will suck the life out of you and totally mess with your accounting. You have to pay your bills so you know how much you can spend on the fun stuff. Don't let bills pile up. Get them off your desk, stat. File paperwork as soon as you get it and use a system where you can retrieve it. When bills come in, you can use PayPal or online banking to pay them and then use Evernote to file them for tax purposes or long-term records. Just forward them using your customized Evernote email address. If you haven't discovered Evernote yet, you simply must. It's an online filing cabinet, note taker, and basically my virtual brain. Now I pay for the pro version since they started charging for the email feature, but it's only $3 a month. That's really inexpensive and it's totally worth it. You can put codes in the subject line of the email as you forward it to Evernote that organize your documents automatically so they're all searchable. Don't keep confidential data there, but bills and invoices are fine. For paper bills from new vendors, just set up electronic bill pay. I use a scan snap scanner for paper items that I want to record so my office is totally paperless. I use the ScanBot app on my iPhone to take pictures of receipts for deductible expenses when I'm out and then I trash the receipts. No receipts have credit card numbers on them anymore, so there's no security issue there. Open your snail mail at least once every other day. If you use e-statements 100% of the time, most mail is actually trash. But make sure you shred credit card applications so someone else doesn't get their hands on them. Have a money minute. You know, I might say this in more than half the articles I write and videos I make. You might be tired of hearing it, but do you do it? The most important practice to simplifying your money is to check in on your transactions and balances every single day. This takes me less than two minutes. I check out all my bank account and credit card transactions so I always know what's happening in my accounts and I can get mistakes or fraud cleared up really quickly. I recommend you use a multiple bank account system to automate your finances. I've completely automated my savings, so I pay myself first and I keep money earmarked for disposable spending in its own account. That account has its own debit card, so I know exactly when I have to stop spending to still be in alignment with my plan. I know I never have to balance another checkbook, and this makes me so super happy. Are you ready for your bonus? Here it is. I want you to know your net worth at all times. I use Guide Financial. You can also use Mint.com if you like. Those are financial aggregator tools, and I can see all of my investment accounts and bank accounts and credit cards in one place. In that way, I have my net worth at a single glance on my financial dashboard. Your personal net worth is a key financial indicator. It's your job to grow that number over time. So knowing it empowers you to better pilot the plane. My finances are completely simplified by staying on top of these daily tasks. I haven't had an overdraft fee in years, haven't balanced a checkbook, I haven't wondered how much money I could spend and still make my retirement account contribution, I don't worry about buying holiday gifts, and I always find that I have more money saved than I can spend on vacations. 
That's freedom and simplicity. If you like this video, subscribe for more at hillaryhendershot.com. There are some more personal insights that I only share in email, and I'll also let you know when new videos air. I would love it if you'd share this video with a few of your friends. And of course, I really want to hear from you in the comments on the blog. Thank you.